Everyone wakes up to find this swastika painted right on her front door. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jim Snyder. I'm Reed Cowan. This is the third time we've had to bring you this kind of a news on a hateful situation of vandalism in the past two weeks. It's our top story tonight, and our Gabby Hart has the woman's message to whoever did this. Sarah Atiyah says she woke up early Monday morning and ran to her car to grab something. And as she headed back inside of her home, that's when she noticed it. And I saw it right away and I panicked immediately. Like I, you know, started flipping around, looking around, trying to see if anybody was there. What she saw was a swastika, boldly painted on her front door, along with the words, Hell Hitler. The first thing I thought of was that all there was was a door. <laughs> <laughs> blocking me and my children from whoever was on the outside with such a hateful thought. This incident is a part of a larger problem, plaguing not only the state of Nevada, but the entire country. Over the past two weeks, there have been several swastika incidents reported. The symbol carved into a UNLV student's dorm room door. Last week, a Las Vegas family found several swastikas painted all over the front of their home. That swastika represents a mentality that there's hatred there for Jews, for African Americans, for the LGBTQ community. Todd Polikoff is the president and CEO of Jewish Nevada. He says everyone in the community should be concerned because this kind of hate can quickly escalate into something much more dangerous, like the recent massacre inside of a Pittsburgh synagogue. The greatest fear that we certainly in the Jewish community have always had is that that speech becomes weaponized, that that speech becomes uh, in our society, acceptable to the point where people feel they can act out on that speech. Sarah says she won't be intimidated by the message of hate. They've made a mark and it wasn't a positive one and they can do better. And at the same time, like I said before, there we won't be bullied. I won't be bullied anyway. Um, so we're not leaving. You can put as many swastikas on my door as you want, um, but we we won't stop being proud of being Jewish. Uh, now, Sarah did report this incident to police, and they are investigating. But as I mentioned, there have been several of these incidents across the valley and no arrests. Anyone within the community who witnesses this type of behavior or who has information, you're urged to call police and report it. I'm Gabby Hart reporting. Jim, All right, Gabby, you. thank you. We will hope to hear about a break in these cases soon.